We begin our adventure rolling down the hipster highway, the busy bike lane on Milwaukee Avenue. Wicker Park, always electric, even with shuttered nightclubs due to the pandemic, you can still discover new shops and good eats at Cebu. It's very heavily influenced with the Spanish and Chinese. Gobble up Filipino egg rolls known as lumpia, stuffed with tender roast pork, carrots, garlic, and onions dipped in dark mushroom soy sauce. And Cebu's version of the mojito with passion fruit and El Dorado rum, the perfect thirst quencher. <laughs> Kids love the pool on the top of the iconic Roby Hotel Chicago. The Art Deco elevators whisking you up to the uproom cocktail bar. The marvelous scenery lifting your spirits. Even the sunny guest rooms with a spectacular view as we map out the next leg of our neighborhood tour. Feel the calor, the warmth of the Puerto Rican people, like the Caribbean herself, inviting you in for a swim. The neighborhood organizing hurricane and earthquake relief efforts for those on the island, this big-hearted Chicago community pulling together to defeat the pandemic. Nothing stirs the soul like rhythm, drawing people to this irresistible neighborhood recently renamed Puerto Rico Town. The coffee strong at Cafe Colau, one of many restaurants featuring sidewalk cafes, some of them serving the legendary Hibarito with seasoned steak, onions, garlic, and avocado sandwiched between toasted plantains. But this was invented right here in Chicago. And Educator and author Ada Lopez chronicles the journey for Chicago's Boricua community. It's a beautiful experience. You see the extended families, the grandparents with the children. Feel the romance of Chicago's Little Italy. Long before social distancing, Italians mastering the art of al fresco dining. So many businesses and so many of the families have tried to recapture the feel of what it was like being in Italy. Community leader Ron Onesti's family landed in 1911 and never left. This port of entry for generations of Italian Americans looking for a better life. Taylor Street is one of those neighborhoods that's truly based on family. You know, this is a neighborhood of families. The Davino family still part of the local community. Their Pompeii restaurant and bakery serving up fresh pasta, salads with homemade stromboli and pizza. But grab it to go because we're off to our next destination. Bustling Hyde Park, home to the University of Chicago, famous architecture, and the reopened Museum of Science and Industry. You'll feel the dynamic energy of this Southside community. It seemed that Hyde Park really was uh, not only a microcosm, but also a mecca, if you will, uh, for political activism, for progressive politics. Perry Eimer knows the history, the CEO of the nearby DuSable Museum of African American History, pointing to groundbreaking leaders from Hyde Park, from Chicago's first African American mayor, Harold Washington, to the first female to lead Cook County's Democratic Party, board president Tony Preckwinkle, and a law professor and community organizer by the name of Barack Obama. Steak and eggs, a favorite menu item at the Valois restaurant on 53rd Street. Retrace the steps of the 44th president of the United States, his Kenwood home at 50th and Greenwood, still under the watchful eye of the Secret Service, attracting the occasional selfie. Visit the Hyde Park Hair Salon at 52nd and Blackstone, where you see Obama's favorite barber, Zarif, in this photograph. The presidential barber chair encased in glass. He was our guy. He'd come in and we talk sports, we talk local events. We'd have a crowd of people outside, as many as we could fit in the barber shop. You'll love the beauty and hospitality of Chicago's unforgettable neighborhoods. Julian Cruz, WGN News.